Georgina Cooper, a supermodel from the 1990s, was buried yesterday. Her husband honored the love of my life at a burial that was attended by close friends and family. Just before noon, mourners flocked to Bearstead, Kent's Vinters Park crematorium and spilled onto the memorial grounds to hear eulogies to the Britpop sensation. I loved you from the day I first met you, said Nigel, her husband of less than six months, as he sent condolences to Cooper, who passed away last month at the age of 46, and my love for you will never fade. Rachel, her best friend, lauded the former catwalk star for her laugher and devotion to her son, and thanked Nigel for giving Cooper the happiest years of her life. Cooper's little sister was honored with poems read by Cooper's brothers, Shane and Paul Donnelly, who called her a princess without a tiara. And when he was asked to hold his newborn sister when he was six years old, her eldest brother Paul confessed that he was overwhelmed with love and had a fear of dropping her. Paul described how Cooper never forgot her origins, which were a two-bedroom flat in Charlton, southeast London. Even after becoming a fashion industry titan, Georgina was the most unpretentious person in an industry built on facades. He remarked, echoing a eulogy given to his sister after her passing. During the 45-minute celebration of her life, visual tributes were also shown, with images of Georgina as a dedicated mother and as a fashion model flashing up on a screen to music. Whoopi Goldberg's performance of the soul classic Ain't No Mountain High Enough served as the closing song for the ceremony, which was taken from the popular film Sister Act. Only a few months after marrying her partner Nigel, Cooper died on October 25th on the Greek island of Kos after falling ill. Cooper worked as a barmaid at the Fox and Goose Pub in Bearstead, where the pair was married in May of this year. After being taken to a nearby hospital while on vacation with Nigel, the former model was transferred to a more advanced medical facility in Heraklion, Crete, where she passed away after five days in critical care. A local coroner verified that internal bleeding after organ failure and liver cirrhosis were the cause of death. The beam of light whose achievements were immense was honored by supermodels Jade Parfit, Helena Christensen, Aaron O'Connor, and Jody Kidd after his untimely passing. Her friends and family are completely devastated, Parfit remarked. Georgina was a beacon of hope, a well-liked model who was riotous, fun, always laughing, and naughty in the best ways. Backstage, we all wanted to spend time with George. Her accomplishments in the field were enormous. According to Dean Goodman, her former agent, she was the original gap-toothed girl. She will be sorely missed. May she rest in peace, Georgie girl. I shall always adore you and never forget you. I'll see you on the other side. She had plans for the future, he added. She was excited about her new life after getting married. Everyone is inconsolable. She truly was a superstar. After being discovered by a modeling agency at the age of 13, Georgina quickly rose to fame. Two years later, she had an appearance in a Bon Jovi music video. Known as London's original gap-toothed girl, the London-born cover girl has been featured on the covers of magazines such as The Face and U.S. Vogue, 